Whoa, okay. Support Monkey wow. King. They have gone for the Faces Void. Uh, I mean, into the mass, it's eh, it's okay. You can jump out the arena. Type dilation is very, very powerful this game against all four heroes here on LGD. Yeah, you've got, also got late game potential for Cataclysm into... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, there is very little heroes that can beat this Invoker plus uh, Faces Void late game. Anti-Mage is definitely not the hero I had in mind to beating <laughs> this. It's good in the lane against Darks here. You burn his mana. And we'll see what Y can really do to prevent Timata from getting too much free solo XP up here. But Seb in the jungle continuing to just do his thing. He's uh, pretty happy with the way uh, things yeah, are currently going. Yeah, this is going. so good for him. The <laughs> Disruptor kind of... CS, by the way. Yeah, the Disruptor kind of can't really fight him in the jungle as well. So he doesn't want to go there. And BZM, good rotation. Yeah. He TPs, he realizes Echoes doesn't have a single point in Burrow Strike, so he is not afraid of any counter rotation. Watching him though, someone just put that ward down. That was fresh. All right, jumping around into the trees as BZM. He's going to rotate top. New troubles coming his way as Seb already up to level five. Hits him with the Gale, hits him with the Blood Grenade. The Spear pushing Tomato all the way through is the Tornado wow. Twister just catching him. BZM receiving a what tip now play. from. Sab, well done. And you still have Aru, by the way, manages to soak a lot of experience while uh, Echoes was farming his stacks. Can't really take down a Monkey King that easily, though. But minute seven runes. Why? Secure is his. Monkey King jumping, diving tier two tower. The stun underwhelming here as Y turning. He's got glimpse, but no chance to use it thanks to the cold snap from BZM. They don't even need it. Oh, well, well maybe they do, but they're just going to decide to let him live now before he experiences the excruciating pain that is the time zone. Out they go. Then Seb releasing the ultimate time zone. There it is, new. What you going to do? What did he do? <laughs> Dude, it's huge <laughs> now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Radiant's top tower is under attack. PYW. Yeah, he is going to be trapped here. Ari closing the door, making sure that he gets hit by that EMP. PYW still on the run, slowed though by that Primal Spring level 3. And another kill for OG. Five unanswered kills here. Well, okay. It's not all bad news though, is it? Shiro... He's got a good lane. Like, he is having to apply unopposed pressure, especially to this Mars. New, he wants to try and put a stop to it. He will TP top as Echoes. Lay, ready to let go. Level one, Epicenter. Level one stun on the Burrow Strike as well. BZM still alive. No, he gets popped like a cherry tomato there. Shiro, he rotates in, puts him to bed with the Mana Void. And that time, OG take a step too deep into the enemy side of the map. Yeah, that was very, really, really important for Shiro to just show up to get the kills. Yeah, because Seb is buying the mech. The jungling oh. banner needs to do something for his team, you know. <laughs> That's that is true. Otherwise, he's gonna get reported. Nice job there by Y. Held on to that glimpse. They put down Sabi. He's worth a pretty penny as well. That's 500 gold. The time zone. The time zone. AM's leashed. He can't get away. He cannot blink away. Maybe this is the true counter to AM. All of a sudden, Echo's joining the fight with an Amplified Damage Room, but OG, they brought the numbers. It's four versus two down here, and those odds not looking so great for LGD. Another glimpse at the very least. Okay, they do actually get Ari. He's glimpsed max damage glimpse uh, into the Sandstorm as Tomato needs to take down the Scorpion. He was getting pelted by Sand at an alarming rate, but finally, it's going to be a four. Everyone to a critic. Ari, great job here on the smoke break. Flame break does connect. That'll put a cooldown on Tree Dance, but he's already up to the high ground. PYW won't be able to catch him. PYW, who, by yep. the way, is building the solution to this time zone. Everyone on Reddit laughed when they kept buffing time zone. They said, oh, I'll just buy Boots of Baron. Well, we'll see if PYW is going to be able to get that accomplished in time. Why in the mid lane, he actually manages to get down the Static Storm before he dies. He's trapped at least Whisper here, but he's got a full pipe of Insight running now. So he's tanking these Epicenter very easily now as they look to turn. In goes Tomato. He's got time zone in five seconds. I reckon he won't even need it. Shiro, he realizes he needs to get the heck out of here. There's nothing he can do to change the course of this fight. Three heroes down just like that. And Tomato, he's caught on fire. Time zone. He's caught him again. The time zone. The bashes. He's trying to just get away a second more. He does get the blink to safety. But Tomato, he wants to keep Two chasing. Seconds. Another blink in two seconds here. Tomato, he's going to delay that even more, though, with the time dilation. But Shiro, he gets away and just barely. Oh, Tomato digs up a kobold. But that was pretty scary for Shiro. Just barely escaping with his life. Uh, situation in the game right now is pretty dire for the team on Radiant. Oh, yeah. They oh, they yeah. need to somehow find a way to win team fights with, 
against this pipe of the ducks here. Yeah? It, it just feels so difficult. I mean, you've got Seb who is on the other side of the map farming Ancients. That's a decent jump, but it's only the support Monkey King. And in fact, he's just fine thanks to the Surge. And the Glimmer Cape, full pipe barrier as well. Timato giving chase now. Timato, time zone up in 18 seconds. He's just going to run up to the high ground and kill a Disruptor. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, he's maxing dilation over his bash, you know. That's, uh, I mean, time block, you know. That's yeah, like how point. much how much he feels like this time dilation is also really good, you know, in this game against all this bad rider disruptor. So yeah, this is why I was uh, very skeptical about the anti mage pick. I felt like it's going to be very, very long before he can be ready to actually fight you know, into what OG has, you know, and now they're going to have to figure out how are they going to do it, which I find like the best. This is a good catch. It's just a kill onto Ari, but what will it cost him now is the time zone. It's come out. Echoes managing to escape for now with the regen running pulled back in into the last seconds of the time zone. Is that's going to be a nice static storm no to damage. cover, but they just need to get out. They're just trying to escape here in OG, looking to extend this fight. They've already used the vacuum, though, as Echoes. He has TP, he's full HP. No way you can ever... You just can't. You can't run from this guy. Shiro, okay. Gets the blink away. Just waiting for the rest of the team. And Ari, he knows he has to save the Boundless Strike in case Shiro's going to try and TP. I mean, just heads up move from him. Shiro, he's going to try and dodge down bottom. Again, just oh, no chance him. to really run here. Oh Another blink away. God. Gets him outside of the Wukong's command. Boundless Strike is there, as is the vacuum. Shiro's got no way out, man. This guy is so good on the hero. Like Ari, just be you would so never do that to me, right? Come over no, when I'm not. asleep, you know. What do you What do you tomatoes. think? I'm like the bird that eats your fish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that bird is long gone. Fight breaking out here, PYW. He'll be at his expense as New does blink on in. He's gonna receive the ulti courtesy of Seb. As a result, as they have caught Seb now inside the static storm, is the only one caught there. Patient Zero Facet doing a lot of work as Y gets pushed back a bit. He's safe and sound for now, but Ari cutting off these supports, and that's your offlaner just dying. Quite frankly, PYW, he will be no safer as there's a Glape near online for Timato. Pointing that to use. AM is will not be pleased to see that. I mean, he's got to pay the toll to get on through LGD. They're going to try and go around it. They very quickly realize OG will be rotating through that side of the map. Still, the blink dagger reveal from PYW is trying to try and get something. Seb, he just still has the Guardian Greaves. As out goes the Arena of Blood. Whisper the has the vacuum, well. but no wall. They pull him back into two. No way out through the time zone. They're going to have to go the other way. And you, he is just left for dead. Tornado as well catches up to this disruptor. Why? On the high ground. He's got no way out. Three for non-trade. As OG basically just handed a invite up to kill this tier three tower. He's on Venom. And he's your position four, who is now, by the way, just cleared Shiro in terms of top net worth. So this is going to be actually quite a valuable kill. If they can get it, they can. Seb, he goes down, shares over a thousand gold now to the enemy side, as perhaps OG a little bit in too deep now. Just fine. Echoes, he whiffs pretty bad there on that epicenter as Timato, he's leaping forward and back now with that time dilation slow to make sure his team gets out safe. Careful here, OG, still in the area. Roche not on their mind. Instead, they just reckon that they're the stronger team right now and don't have to be scared at all. They'd be right. LGD will have to take this fight as new. Sorry, Shiro Bank that is not TP back to back wall. Connects onto three under the tier four towers. Timato, he will plant his time zone there. That is going to be a square of death is even from behind. Echoes tried to make the jump in, swiftly punished. And I just think this game is over, Winter. I don't know if there's a way. Shiro, he's cut the wave top. Uh, OG, mass TPing for him now as Shiro is going to attempt to escape. Ari, just a second. Wimps, they have found one. TD Rune is active. And the man has a they, can't even they can't catch him. They can't catch him. They can't kill him. They've had to leave him behind. Shiro gets back up to the high ground safely. Time zone's back up in just a minute. But why, even with that electromagnetic pulse, is not safe. He dies. PYW. Excuse me, tried to blink out of the base. Team Auto says, what are you doing, little bro? Kills him off. Arena of Blood, that's a nice initiation of BZM, but can they get through all this healing? The regen, the reduction, BZM still alive. BKB active for Echoes. He puts him down now with the epicenter. It's pretty darn good. As Whisper, he's going to be the one to just eat that mana void. It's decent, but not good enough. Team Auto on a godlike streak now as he gets the kill onto Echoes. New, safe for now on the high ground. Everyone who's dead on LGD has buyback, but they will hold on to it. That was a buyback out of BZM of all people. A little yeah, bit of panic from, from OG. Look, they put down two Observer Wards right next he to each other. He bought back right there. and used Sunstrike. <laughs> 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 he, didn't, he didn't get a kill, though. 
Two little observers. Doesn't help against the Mars. Facet as they have caught one. Nice job. The kill on a Whisper. They've got him. But at what cost? New. He should go down here. And he is. Timato continuing to fight through before he gets glimpsed away. Timato another time walk forward. The blink out from Shiro. But he's been hit by this vessel. And he's got no way out. Dead for 50 seconds. No buyback available for the Anti-Mage as OG. They don't even need an Aegis looking to close out this game here and now. Time zone is ready again, by the way. Timato, he jumps in, eats a stun from the Sand King briefly before he throws out that time zone. And look at Echoes. He's dragged back in by that EMP. Why is easy pickings next as PYW does manage to blink back into the base safely? That's going to be two buybacks available. With your Mars up in eight seconds, but this is over. PYW, he's going to call it OG. They win in game at number one. LGD, things looking very dire for them as they head into this next game down one. But most importantly, their max score now, I believe, only five games. Uh, make that six, a best score of six possible. So they really are hoping that Heroic and Aurora do not win any of their games here. Yeah, that was such a beautiful game from OG. I feel like uh, they <laughs> they taught me so many things. You know what you can do in the current meta if you have a have a specific way of thinking in the game. You know. I think. Okay, so what do you so you want a core then, right? Do you to p to deal with this? Is it a Sven? What it will be? Uh, no, it's uh, this is a this is a oh. pretty good solution. It's the ultimate PL counter with your radiance and your dispel on your win and win panda, and it's gonna they move they just move the barrier to mid. I mean, this this OG team with the drafts, uh, they are very very cunning and sneaky with their drafts, and they obviously already have uh, things taught, uh, well thought out. So because they pick their heroes so quickly, Bad Rider should have the edge. I'm not entirely sure because I I don't know the matchup now. He might be in for some trouble here. Hasn't taken a skill point yet. They need some really good body blocks. Or he's kind of juked himself here on accident. I believe that ought to be the death of him. It doesn't even take a skill point. He's consigned to his death. That's why we'll draw first blood. Good start. Good start for LGD. Yep, the power of the ogre in the early game. Do you, you do have any skill points, you know? Uh, a lot of the times, by the way, when we've seen the Chen, we've seen this very... Uh, oh, hold on, you? He should be fine. We've seen... Uh, Oh, hold on, mid, BZM. The PYW monkey rotates onto him, finds a kill early. What's the opposite regicide? Yeah, big, big kill here onto the mid bat rider. This is a hero that you never want to fall behind, you know, when you play him as a call. This hero cannot be played from behind. In my opinion. You need to be snowballing from the start. You have to do well in your lane. You have to be higher level than your opponents and Stop. snowball, you know. They will try for Whisper. Just, uh, just an effort there. Not so, too yeah, much he's of a not having a good time because the Nyx is <laughs> jungling. Not in the lane, you know. <laughs> the, he's jungling. We could we could say it. Yeah, jungling Nyx. Quick little stun there. They're also going for new back down bottom. New nice dodge there on the power shot as they do get the kill onto Whisper top lane. New still alive. The auto attacks. The last two necessary there for the kill. But Seb, it'll cost him his own life as Tomato is able to win run away. However, PYW's got a full earn and he's able to convert into a double kill suddenly. Okay. Yeah, things are definitely going really well for LGD here. They not. Yeah, impress impressive on Bat Rider. Six minute yeah. run. On top, it's an illusion or in BZM. He is getting fought now. 2v1 as PYW is gonna leap on in. Why now TP into the tower? Hits him with this level three ignite. And now even the stun for Seb. PYW fighting through this one. He's just fine. Ari giving chase. Doesn't have any spells for seven seconds. Oh no, the trees, he got confused. Nice bit of uh skull daggery there from PYW. Manages to survive. Another two heroes dead, just like that. The second death in the lane now for the Bat Rider. And despite having 21 to die, somehow he is beat to level 6 by Echoes. That's like, just, I guess they have more even farm across the board because they have uh, double jungling supports right now. Rotation. They're going to look for new. He's got a shield crash in three more seconds. 13 wand charges. Shield crash in a second, but not enough HP. BZM burns him down. 
He really likes to use the Gidu. He sees Shiro. He will give chase. Ari now is scuttling on over. As can they identify the real one? Yeah, pretty easy. They don't get a shackle shot, but they do give enough time for Ari to get set up now. Look for the kill. He's got infused range ops himself, but he is being focused fired by Timato, and it's pretty good focused fire. OG. They bring four heroes behind the tier one tower. They get the kill onto the Phantom Lancer as Whisper, drunken brawler, drunken master, trying to just escape here. They're gonna have to try to use the chance timing. Uh, with, with his creeps and with the Hand of God. I mean, he's really strong with the Vlads now. They need to use him to take control of the map. Here goes Ari. He's going to go hunting, kicking things off. Oh, uh, he Just really didn't like that Why did he kill the Courier? He did not like the Courser. That Courser, he had it coming, okay? And now, Whisper, he's still able to open up this fight. Nice micro there on that Hurricane, moving Y even closer and farther out of that tower as he ends up going down. However, BZM, he was expecting another dead hero up here. Ari oh, he had his sights on something else, though. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Must have Listen, been man. You know, Searing Chains doing a lot of work against him. Yeah, I mean, the Orchid is going to be good against the Ember, PL, Pango, all, <laughs> all three cores. Sorry, I'm still giggling at Ari, just absolutely blasting that Centaur Conqueror. Why? This time, there's no Centaur Conqueror to save you, he says, as they set up onto him. Short little stuns, but again, a good hurricane out from Seb. The Wildwing Ripper sets up beautifully here. I believe LGD, they picked up more than they could chew new. He's going to try and attempt to TP away. Oh, the double shuriken out from the Seder Tormentors. Not enough damage here, but BYW, he jumps back in to try and save the life of his offlaner. He dies and feeds, what, 800 gold over to the side of OG. What? I am... We'll see. Maybe... Blade Meal Ogre. <laughs> oh, perhaps. Top, bop, uh, rather. Echoes. Yeah, great catch here by Ari and BZ. I'm just making sure they get the kill. He's going to commit the last, so I, I reckon that's wise. Uh, he didn't yeah, have a remnant down, I believe, but still yeah, just Yeah, I mean, it's still, still, it's not a very long cooldown. I, I agree. I feel like... That's, that's so I presume he's going to get the, the shot later. Huh. And actually, he, he took Arsonist, which is something in the early days of this patch I saw only him and Malarine doing. Hold on, this is huge. If they can contest these stacks, it's a really good initiation onto Neo. But Shiro, he's showing up to this fight, and they've got the pipe of uh, Insight Barrier buff now protecting them all. However, Whisper shows up to this fight in style. He's got full BOTs to waste no time to activate the ulti. Can he say BZM? No. He's still going to go down because Shiro's just a little bit too obnoxious here with the Acceptor. Y is finally going to drop his PYW hanging on his purge, looking for the right opportunity to jump in, looking for the right stun now. The lift onto the Ember Spirits as now OG retreating, having basically lost out on this engagement, honestly. They don't get to steal the stacks. They lose their mid laner only for a support. One and a half yeah. minutes remaining. But yeah, probably not going to be able to force another big fight soon. And bot lane, Whisper, no split. They're trying yep. to punish. This is trouble. They do catch him with a stun, but a nice swap over to the Void stance means Whisper's barely stunned up there. In the meantime, Nu, he's getting hunted. Ari gives him just the, the briefest chance of hopes. I think Nu, he might make it out alive. BZM's on top of him now. Tomato's also fighting here down bottom. Mech heal. This is a big fight. Also with Seb showing up to play. LGD looking for one. They get at least the Guardian Greaves is up top. They're still chasing Nu, by the way. They could use their help down bottom because Tomato, he's just died very quickly on his second life. And Nu... He's still alive. The mech and the pipe keeping him alive as now reinforcements are coming. BZM realizing that they have long overstayed their welcome. He's going to end up falling. And this has just been disastrous. Back down bottom, Seb, he'll take a while to die now to the, just the two supports. But he's also going to go down. And OG somehow, they initiate two fights on two sides of the map and lose them both. Mind drawn down bottom. I believe that's OG as now... Seb is also in makeup. Timato joins this smoke. Radovatos up top lane here. Oh, Whisper's caught. Oh, yeah. This is going to be trouble for him. He's got ulti. He doesn't really want to have to use it here. They stun him only once. Can they continue to chain stun him, though? Absolutely. As New wastes no time to commit the rolling thunder. OG, they will turn themselves around now as they look to try and still get something out from this fight. But yeah, they're going to make the call to back up. That was such a good play by LGD. They know that. YW, he will go ahead and kick things off. You do have a Nyx Assassin, which is regular Vendetta, <laughs> as PYW just being a little bit of a bully here, killing off some creeps. Oh, oh my goodness, it's Roshan. Oh my goodness, he's back on his old pick, guys. You believe it. Look, PYW's smiling. He's like, guys, I turned into Roche. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> 
He's he's having a great game here on this one. King. Six, one, and eight. He gets a turn in a row. She's asking for a high five, but it, now his team needs him because Whisper, this time, he's going to get off the ulti. And BZM, he's found the lasso onto Y. Seb with the mass heals now, keeping him alive. But Y has also received some heals and this pipe of insight buff. He's still okay. PYW, he's had his tree cut down, which is going to make this a three versus four fight here momentarily. But it's still looking overall decent for LGD as these PL illusions are just causing too much havoc now in these fights, Winter. There's just too many of them. Yeah, Manta, Diffusal, Agadims, they, they just can't really fight into, like, the PL. And look, they're still chasing. PYW, they didn't get his tree cut down. Now is Ari, he's going to be leaping Airpace? on in. He just gets stunned. But look, Timato, he's the one who's really in trouble as they catch him now with the shield crash. Rolling Thunder is out. Ari finds a three-man stun. Not bad as Timato drops the tip onto him. But it's going to be trouble now for Ari as he does have to sacrifice himself in order to take down the monkey. Well worth it for him as OG getting will now smoke up and they're going to chase after this LGD roster. Gem of True Sight is on Wait, the they're line. They're running into the Aegis and Cheese? Really? They're running into this Aegis. They're running into this Aegis. Pipe, Greaves, and a Gem of True Sight now for new as Shiro taking down this Tier 1 tower. In goes Whisper. Rolling Thunder getting pump faked in the back lines. Echoes holding onto this cheese. There's going to be the stuns. There's the initiation on the Shiro. It's a pretty good one. Pipe of Insight Barrier and the Guardian Greaves. He's just fine. He's hit. just fine. And Timato, he may have gotten this Gale Force wins down, but it's only got an LGD closer in this fight. There's a nice stun here onto BZM. The control, the lockdown. He's nearly perma stunned here. They do at least get through Shiro's first life at long last, but New is doing so much here, and it's PYW of all with the double kill here as he sets up the Wukong's command. He pins him down, and he does the damage. Shiro easily up to the high ground now taking Seb out of the game as he is straight up to the high ground oh gee they only get the Aegis winter yeah, this is really really bad news for OG like losing another fight like that like LGD is just in front no, control PYW. Game, you know. PYW he's being haunted He's being haunted, and his ghosts, they're not taking the apparition of a human, of a little ghost. No, no, this is a monkey who is not going to stop him from <laughs> grabbing the Invis rune, I've got to say. <laughs> Slight mistake you're, there. You're off lane is losing to the support, yeah, to the enemy support. Uh, yeah, he just soloed him. He just actually soloed him. <laughs> yep, uh, uh, PYW, definitely a... Uh, Lasso. Specialist as well. It's from him, but look how tanky that they get him with the Glimmer Cape, but now BZM all of a sudden, he finds himself in a very bad position. Glaipnir now from the Monkey King onto two, as Team Auto trying to push them back with the Gale Force wins. Ari doing what he can here. He burns one illusion, but brother, there's like 80 more coming your way. LGD diving beyond the tier two tower, up onto the high ground. Seb is trying to do whatever he can here, but caught and killed underneath the tier four towers. Echoes with the triple kill. A tip onto Seb here. Seb with a bit of a smile, realizing this game has gone awry. Oh, gee, it doesn't seem... Well, they're going to need a miracle to turn this game around. That's what I'll say. They burned the Aegis Winter, but 30 minutes. It's an 11-29 to 29 lead here for LGD. Still with the cheese on the Ember Spirit, and this is going to be the second lane of Barracks. I mean, they only have five at Onyx, you know? I mean, I don't even know uh, what can he do if he's, he's even alive right now in the team fights. I mean, it's just very difficult when you can't fight into the enemy. In the clash, 5v5 clash, then it means that Nyx is going to be always going to be a liability in the game, you know, for you. Yeah. He's not going to be so good in this type of game. He's going to cut a wave that back down bottom. This has been a very dangerous maneuver for him in the past. Ari, Ari scouted. Oh, the gem. Okay, he's able to at least get off the spike carapace, but no one from OG dare step outside the base. This hero, it's fine. He can die. He has buyback, but he's not going to have a vendetta for 50 seconds as the Monkey King plants a very deep ward. Timato hiding away in the base. Unfortunately, despite Whisper's best efforts, back door is not broken because of this creep in the mid lane. And now in they go onto Timato. Timato, he doesn't have a dispel and he's just dead. Wind run or not. GG, he calls it. This one is over. LGD, they didn't get the 2-0 that they were looking for, but they at least find one versus OG as they are hoping to scrape by Void Elimination here on the Riyadh Masters group stage. Yep, at least they, they got a, a script correct. Uh, on the second game, you know, they got the right script. They won. They were able to execute it, and they were able to uh, at least get one game out of this. You know, so OG probably, you know, being a little bit too fancy here.